recently I posted an article about learning and memorizing vocabulary, and it reminded me of uh, how I learned and memorized vocabulary in Spanish at university. Um, I thought it was quite effective. Well, this month I've taken on a special project. I want to see if the vocabulary method I was talking about still works for me. So I'm going to test it. I'm going to learn 1,000 completely new Spanish words and phrases in one month. And I'm doing it for charity. Fundraising through sponsorship is very common in Britain. It's part of our culture. And this is how it works. First of all, I promise to do something challenging or funny or embarrassing. Like lose my hair, run a race, or in this case, learn 1,000 completely new Spanish words and phrases in just one month. Secondly, I ask you to sponsor me for charity. The charity is decided at the very beginning. I have a form, you write down your name, and I promise to pay whatever you feel comfortable donating to charity. Thirdly, I do the challenging thing. Sometimes I manage all of it, sometimes I'll manage only some of it. Finally, after the event, I will come to you and I will ask you for the money you promised. Or part of it, if I didn't complete the whole task. And I'll collect all the money and give it to charity. Now what's important here is that I don't keep any of the money for myself. This is 100% for charity. So I'm going to be sponsored by my students in Argentina. At least I hope I am. Uh, but on July 1st, they're going to test the teacher. We hope that we can raise money for a local branch of a national association, Fundación Conin, which deals with malnutrition in pregnant women, babies and children under the age of five in Argentina. If you've watched this and you like it, then please like it on Facebook or tweet about it or mention this on your blog. Maybe we can start a trend of sponsored language learning challenges for charity. Education and charity, two brilliant ways to use the internet. If anyone wants to join me and do something similar for a charity of their choice, then please post in the comments below or talk about it on Twitter with the hashtag ELLchar. Never do something for free when you can do it for charity instead. I'll keep you updated on how I'm doing on this blog, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for all the support. Wish me luck.